Hey everyone. Hi everybody. Greetings from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Yeah, you see it behind us, Dollar Tree, and that's what we're here to do. A Dollar Tree video for you guys. You know, I know you've asked for them, and we're here to deliver, and we're here to give you guys a Christmas video with this one. And when you see this at 12 o'clock midnight on November 1st, you'll realize just how crazy I am about Christmas to try and get it up literally a minute after Halloween ends. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, enjoy, and let's go take a look inside of Dollar Tree. Before we even go in there, pay our respects to the belated Kmart of Newcastle. Long gone, closed December 1st, 2019. It's in the same parking lot here as the Dollar Tree in this really dead shopping center. The fact that Dollar Tree is still around is a shock. That's a shock, honestly. The errands. Yeah, because errands closed one of their locations in Pittsburgh on Midnight Road. Uh-huh, and that was a that was on a prime location too. But this shopping center is dead. But Dollar Tree still lives, so let's go in and really check it out this time. They have all kinds of different bows. I like these bells that you hang on your door. Those are nice. Lots of different bows. Decorative bows, obviously. These aren't the ones you would put on gifts. Oh, I like this. I like these placemats. That's cute. For a dollar a piece. I know I got a couple last year, but I really like that one. That's nice. The bows. Here's the one that matches Nate's sweater. I love the garland they have, too. A lot of good selection of garland. I like this one. It reminds me of candy canes. I like that, too. I like the one with the snowman. I think I had that one in the past. Look at this one. Here's one for Nate. Aww. The one with the truck on it. That's so neat. And here you have solar lights for Halloween and Christmas cards right next to it. Cup of cheer. Aw, wishing you a cup of cheer. <laughs> I like that. They have quite the assortment of wrapping paper here. And I have looked, but have not seen any Christmas story wrapping paper. They do have Elf. And Disney, Star Wars, Peanuts, Disney, Mickey Mouse, Toy Story. I like the Peanuts one. Now, it's early, so I'll have to look at other ones to see if they have Christmas Story one paper, because you know that's what I'll get. And it's nice, because on the boxes, it actually shows you the different uh, designs that they have. That one. Let's see if we find that one, for example. Here we go. There you go, Nightmare Before Christmas, if I can talk right, for a dollar, 20 square feet. That's not too bad. More wrapping paper up here. But yeah, like I was saying, it'll literally show you the different designs that they have. And along this back wall, lots of wall art. I really love the wall art, especially things like this. But I need to refrain from buying so much because I have so much wall art from over the years. But I mean, for a dollar, you really can't beat it. This would be great for my aunt and uncle, or even for Nate. It's nice about these ornaments here, too, because they're shatterproof ones. So you could drop them, you don't have to worry about breaking them. I like the little trees here, those are nice. This is cool. <laughs> and here we get into the ornaments. All kinds of different Christmas tree ornaments. I like the snowflakes. I, I like getting these. I've got these in the past. Six pack of ornaments, or even the 10 pack smaller ones. They make a mess with the glitter though. Then you even have your Christmas flowers. I like this, what makes it look like there's actually snow on them. Poncettas. Nice selection. Getting the arts and crafts section where you can make your own Christmas crafts. Make them the way you like, like your own stocking for example. Of course, we need more markers than, than just that. But they give you a couple to get started. Paint, markers, the felt. But it's cool for little arts and crafts for do-it-yourself. Do-it-yourself ornament balls, too. Very nice. Ribbons. And when we go over here to this aisle, it's candy. <laughs> Lots of candy. I know Kayla likes these. The favorites. These are good, I like these. 
marshmallows. I've never seen these before now. That's sweet. Huh. I have to give those a try at some time. More candy down here. Candy canes. You know, nobody ever gets candy canes anymore. Hardly. Hot cocoa. That's a cool little stocking stuffer idea. And that's basically what's in this aisle. Our stocking stuffer candies. And then over here, over here, you got more little decorations, party favors, more stocking stuffers, pencils, party favors, things like that. I remember buying this before. I bought this, this bowl here. I use that for candy. And I like the trays that they have too. And this plate here. Of course, that's made out of that type of plastic that if you step on it, it'll explode. <laughs> Look at the little peep. I know Aunt Barb would love this. <laughs> that's funny. More do-it-yourself ornaments and craft ideas for Christmas. I like these little baskets. These are nice. You could use that as a candy dish, too. That's what I would use that for. Fake snow. More do-it-yourself decorations. I like the little snowmen. Those are cool. And these little LED Christmas trees are nice, too. That ain't too bad. They have quite the selection of shatterproof ornaments. Like I was saying earlier. I like these big ones. You can bounce them like a ball. <laughs> but yeah. And these are great for little Christmas trees. I like the old blue and silver ones down here. They're hiding in the bottom of the box. Those are nice. I love what they have on this end cap in terms of little tiny Christmas trees. They have dollar Christmas trees. As you see, like they have white ones and green ones. And here's an idea of what they look like. Now it's poorly spread open, but you get an idea. It's not too large. It's pretty small. It's great for like a desk at your work if you work in an office. Or like for me, even working in a body shop, I'll put that on the window ledge right by my toolbox. And there's actually 20 count string lights which they have here available, which you can put on there, put these little ornaments on it. You don't have to go crazy with it. And you can have a little tree at work. I think I'm going to do that. I just have to find a hand basket now. There's some back there because I'm actually going to pick some of that stuff up. I want that that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. Perfect. Old school logo too. Okay, so I got my hand basket. Let me go ahead and grab a tree. And it's so nice because these are literally only a dollar. So I'll get this for work. Get a little tree. I like the little light up tree topper. I wonder if that would be too big for that tree. I think so. I think that's a little bit too big. Kind of want to go with something like this for it. I like silver. I think I'll go with the silver one. That looks good. And need little ornaments for it too. Ooh, I love these red ones. But if I pick that off, we're gonna have an avalanche. <laughs> Let's put these to the side. See what we got here. I like the little bows too, actually. Put some of these bows on there. That'll look pretty nice. Yeah, you could tie them right on there. Yeah, what the heck. Let's go ahead and get those. Not bad. And, oh, they have a little tree skirt too. If I wanted to do that. Yeah, you kind of need it. What the heck. Looks like they only have one design, so that's all right. It's only going to go in, at work. And... Oh, I like these. Instead of getting them all in one color, you can get these in several different colors. So let me get a pack of red, a pack of silver, and what the heck, we'll do a pack of gold ones too. <laughs> the more I think about it, there's not very many branches on that little tiny tree. This is all you're dealing with, so maybe I should limit it to one pack of ornaments because I like the bows. I like the bows, so I'm definitely going to hang on to those. I'm going to keep the bows, and you have red and green bows, so why don't we do silver ornaments? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do silver ornaments. That looks good. In fact, I'll get a second pack of them, and if I can't get them all on here, I have a little Christmas tree we put in our uh, bedroom, so I'll put it on that. So that'll work. 
I know I'll probably get uh, made fun of by my co-workers, but you know what? I love the holidays, and I love Christmas, so I don't really care what they think, and they can laugh all they want, because it's me doing what I enjoy, and I don't care what they think. <laughs> now, there's the lights I was telling you about. See, I saw these little string lights here. They're battery-operated. These ones plug in. I definitely want these ones that plug in more. And I do like that they have clear ones and multicolor, but I'm a multicolor uh, fan. White looks good on certain things, but on a Christmas tree, I like it to have color. I like it to pop. The theme on it, anyway. Boy, look at these little lights. They're little camper trucks. It's really kind of hard to see them, but that's so cool. They don't have any in there to show you, though. Oh, wait, here we go. <laughs> so cool. I absolutely love these pot holders and oven mitts. I especially like this one. I think I bought one like that one last year. I just love this. This reminds me of things like my grandmother would have, my grandparents would have in their house. My grandma loved to decorate like this. Now I saw these last year. They had these little villages and I noticed they have some newer buildings this year that they didn't have last year. Like, that church is really neat. So is this building. I didn't see that last year. I'm definitely going to add that to my little village I put in a window ledge. What's this general store? I don't remember if I have this or not. Hmm. I think I'll wait. I know I didn't have that house. I have this one. And I know I had a church. But I think it was different than this one, so I'll hold off on that. But I definitely like that house. I'll add that. Little trees as well. Little figurines again. All different kinds. Yes. Buying that. <laughs> definitely buying that. Alright. Check out these little coloring books and activity books. That's pretty neat. Word search. Christmas tales, gift bags, the lost letter to Santa. <laughs> they even have their own collection of Christmas cards. I wonder how many you get. Oh, 12. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And they're actually kind of heavy duty. It's not like they're cheap. I like these ones too. Very colorful. More wall art, garland. I like the frosted, like, silver and green with the little elves on them. <laughs> little creepy, but cool. I didn't even notice these at first, the little elf headbands. That's pretty cool. We're going to head up here, though. What the heck? What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Stretching out. <laughs> Uh, this is what I put up with every day. <laughs> That's okay. We had dinner, and boy, that was the hottest thing I think I've ever ate. We went to Hothead Burritos, and even though I had a bowl, like, it's similar to Chipotle, I had it with ghost pepper sauce. That had to be the hottest sauce I've ever had in my entire life. My mouth still burns over an hour later. And guess what I did? with the little cup of that sauce, I stuck my tongue in it, and believe me, I regretted that big time. <laughs> I regret eating that, but it tasted really good. And I got Halloween cards. I know, I'm, th I'm shopping for Christmas, she's shopping for Halloween still. And, to be fair, I'm shopping for Thanksgiving cards too, because I have a Thanksgiving card in here. <laughs> Yay, Thanksgiving. You don't see too many Thanksgiving cards, so you that's don't. cool. You really don't. And they have them here at Dollar Tree of all places. I know. What I was going to show you earlier was they have a nice selection of holiday mugs. And it looks like these ones come with candy. And I'm, some of them probably come with like hot chocolate. But those ones come with candy. These mugs don't come with anything, I don't think. But they're pretty nice for a dollar a piece. And if we go over here, they have little holiday tins. And I just love these little mailboxes. Those are great gift ideas. You could put like little gift cards and other little snacks and gifts. And you put cookies in these tins. Candy. That's so neat. I found everything you could ever need for your RV. The match your, your sweater. There you go. You even got, you even got the uh, 
placemats. Took me a minute to think of that. The cups. Look at the organizing bins. Those are awesome. <laughs> the plates and the pot holders and oven mitts. Perfect for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, here's your main card aisle. They have more on the other side as well, but like Kayla was saying, Thanksgiving cards. You don't see too many, but here at Dollar Tree, you do. Warmest Thanksgiving wishes. I like that card. That's nice. Even the Happy Thanksgiving friend card. And then while the selection is small now, this will grow after Thanksgiving or once the Halloween cards are gone and in the next week, they'll have more Christmas cards, I'm sure. Before we go, here is their selection of gift bags. Those are cute. Those are the bigger ones, too. And then they have smaller ones on this end cap. I love that. They're not open until the 25th of December. That's cute. That is cool. That one there. And they even have the small ones for like gift cards and like a couple pieces of candy or whatever. Even, or if you're rich and you surprise someone with a car for Christmas, you can put the car keys in that. Make them think you got them something tiny and then they see keys in there to a car. That would be a hell of a gift. Forgot about these. As soon as you come in the door, they have all these little snow globes, little nutcrackers. Tis the season decorative piece. They have goblets and glasses over here. Wow, that's real glass. Nice. For a dollar a piece. <laughs> Sun's out, bun's out. That's for you, Kayla. <laughs> Anything on this side? Uh, not really for Christmas, anyway. But that's okay. What about these? The table covers. And I love these. The little decorative trucks with the tree hanging on the back. And it's a light. I guess. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that's cool. Aww, that's, cute. that's not too bad. For a dollar anyway. Not a bad little item. And then you have napkins and plates down here for if you have company over and you don't want to clean up after. I really love this one. That's cool. That's really cute. Alright, we'll get them. Yay. <laughs> it's definitely not the holiday season if you don't have hot chocolate. But especially the Danish style butter cookies. At least in PA, it's not Christmas if you don't have these. You know, as long as we've been in here and looking all around, I haven't seen any movies anywhere. Yeah, and I, I have looked. looked. Too. There's no movies here. Nowhere. And you know, I know it's been a while since we've looked for them for the Langoliers. But even after that, when I've stopped in a Dollar Tree, I've looked and seen some DVDs, but none here, period. Weird. Oh well. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Well, that's going to do it for our first Christmas video of 2020. I didn't think I'd be filming one before Halloween, but here I am doing it. And when I filmed this, it's actually a week before Halloween. So, yeah. I got a problem. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it. If it makes you happy and it doesn't hurt anybody, then do it. Well, it might get some people upset, but... Who cares? Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's your channel, not theirs. Exactly. If you like it, you watch it. If you don't like it, you don't watch it. Anyway, as we were saying, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And just know that we have plenty of Christmas videos coming to you guys this time. And when we go to Texas in December, I'm going to try and get a few from down there Bucky's as well. Christmas video must happen. <laughs> Absolutely going to happen. I love that place, and I still need to find a particular shirt when we get down there. So, with that said, we're going to do that, and I would love to have a Bucky's Christmas shirt. So, that's definitely going to happen. And I really want some Bucky's beef jerky really bad. Yeah, their beef jerky's really good. Everything they have there is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, we're going to take off, and, well, just stay tuned for more Dollar Tree videos and more Christmas videos. We're going to go to as many different places as we can think of. Unfortunately, Kmart doesn't appear to be one of those places unless we get lucky and go to a town or city where there's one standing that's still open, and we'll be happy to bring you a Christmas video from there. Though, their Christmas selection is probably not going to be very good this year, as they're basically at the end of their life. So, anyway, with that said, take care, everybody. Stay awesome. Have a Kmartlicious day. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, everyone.